Let's jump right into our tale of the tape as the 22-year-old unbeaten Mark Castro makes the walk again for another Canelo undercard fight. Five foot eight, he's three inches taller than his opponent, Pedro Vicente, who's seven, four, and one with two knockouts. And it's Castro that will have a four inch reach advantage scheduled for six rounds. Sergio, how much of a fight do you expect Pedro Vicente to put up here? Well, Vicente's not much of a puncher, and in order to keep Castro off, you're gonna have to get his respect. So this first round should be a lot real telling because Pedro Vicente is gonna have to keep a bus on like Mark Castro off him. Mark Castro, you can see, got a pretty warm welcome here in Las Vegas. He hopes with the little Canelo card push, he can become a pretty big star over the next couple of years. Scheduled for six rounds, Mark Castro wearing the white gloves, Pedro Vicente in the red. And already Castro letting his hands go. Castro has the uh, advantage in height and in reach. But he doesn't really use it that much. He closes the closes distance really fast. With body shots like that, he gets inside and he just lets him rip. Break! Don't punch, don't punch. You know, you gotta hide your power whenever whenever you're having so much success uh, with, with your aggression. You know, you pop, pop, just like that. See, two, two punches just to get that good body shot. Castro not wasting any time. Castro fights really relaxed too. Look at how, how smooth he is in his upper body. Really relaxed, coming forward, chopping right hand right there. Yeah, but Sente's just not throwing much back, at least with much power. That's what I noticed when I was watching tape on him. He's not much of an aggressive fighter. Uh, he's not like one of these Puerto Ricans with the wicked left hook. He's, he's more of a plotting, you know, he touches the opponent just like that. Daniel, what was your biggest adjustment when you moved from amateur to pro? Well, I, I guess the first accepting the fact that the head camera was going to come up because when you get hit with these 8-ounce, 10-ounce gloves, it hurts a lot more. Some heavy hands there from Castro. Got a buzz from the crowd. Yeah, when you're making that transition from amateur to the pros, not only to the, the gloves are the, the big transition, but getting rocked because normally in the amateurs with the puffier gloves, you don't, you don't get hurt as much. In the pros, a jack can rock you and stun you. Everything smelling like roses so far for Castro. Here's a right hand that scores for Vicente. He set it up with a nice jab to the body. You can tell that reach advantage is in full effects. Nice body shot. I would love to see a Castro double like that on that body shot. And it's beautiful to see him land these punches at the end of his shots. And that's where the power resonates from. No, that's, that's what I was talking about, Daniel. The, 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 the punch placement, how he turns his, his oh, yeah. fist really nicely, elbows in. Good technique and fundamentals by Mark Castro. You know, some people watching at home will see a, a flurry, a three-punch combination. They miss two punches and land one. They think, hey, what, what's going on there? But you say, hey, you land one, it's a good one, it's worth it. No, yeah, no, because you're not going to land every shot. It's impossible. You know, but if, if you set up that one shot with, with two good throwaway punches, that's exactly what boxing's about. Oh, nice counter left there for Mark Castro. Vicente took that left hook good, right on the temple. Yeah. Yeah. A good left hand for Vicente. Best punch of the fight. If you're Castro's trainer there, you're thinking, wait a minute, if Vicente had any power, that one could have given us some problems. Nice one, two, three from Castro. Vicente has a habit of punching off balance and then pulling his head right back. Castro catching him on the way out. Terrible habit for a boxer to have, pulling back like that. Are doing a nice job of keeping his distance. Stepping back out, lands a couple punches, back outside. Nice left hand to the 
deliver there for Castro. Another dominating performance by the Young American. Beautiful combinations right there by Castro. And the ring generalship to bring the fight right back in the middle of the ring and back up Vicente. Beautiful to watch. Can Castro score the knockout? He always seems like he's looking for it. Not the type of fighter that wants to just win on the scorecards. He wants to look impressive, wants fanatic or, or emphatic knockouts. He's got that passionate fan base behind him, many of them making the trip here to Las Vegas. Yeah, and they get their money's worth because Castro's not a one-punch knockout artist. You know, he, breaks, he breaks down fighters systematically, backs them up, and looks for the right openings. And he's doing that here with a, with a veteran like Vicente who's been in there and he's only been stopped two times. Castro started his career 5-0 with five knockouts. He only has one fight that's gone the distance. That was his last fight. Perhaps a jeopardy of going back-to-back -back fights to the judges' scorecards. Like, look at him digging. You wanted two, he that's gave you two. A, that's exactly what I wanted. That's a beautiful shot right there. And that's going to set up the left hook upstairs. Then you're going to have Vicente uh, expecting two or three punches yeah. downstairs. Lower them elbows, the head's going to be open. Vicente did that. Good balance. Every time he misses a punch, he falls off balance. Castro should capitalize on that, which he's doing right now. See that? No balance when he missed. Good right hand right in the ear. It seemed to get Vicente stumbling around a little bit. And again, he's back Pedro up. Caught him with a straight left hand. You can tell Castro wants to put him down in the worst way. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's why he's fun to watch and he's starting to you know, sell tickets, gaining a fan base because he's always looking for that knockout. Sente loaded up that right hand for one of the first times. Didn't score. So 10 seconds to go. Castro's fans surely wanted a knockout, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to deliver it after a very brave performance for Pedro Vicente. It looks like Castro is satisfied with that performance. Are you, Sergio? That's for his fight. He's the second fight in 2020. He was active with three fights in 2021. Keep busy, stay winning, stay in the ring. Yeah, you know, performances like these, it's, it's, it's totally fine. I agree with Sergio. Uh, this was a really good fight for him. I think it was just another stepping stone. Uh, go back to the drawing boards, continue to elevate. Two more rounds, I agree with you, Sergio. It would be great for him to push himself. And uh, we'll see what happens next for his future, but I think it was a great, solid performance. And hey, kudos to Pedro Vicente. It's not easy to go the distance with Mark Castro. Only one man's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here at the T-Mobile Arena, we go to the judges' score totals. Patricia morris Jarman, Eric Cheek, and Max DeLuca all scored this bout identically, 16 to 54. For your winner, a unanimous decision. He's still undefeated, Mark Kestrel.